Oliver the Great Western Engine had been busy in the yard. It was tiring work. Finally, he brought a train of rusty old vans to a stop and let out a sigh of relief. Thank goodness that's over. I'm exhausted. Well, there's still one last train of the night. You promised Percy that you'd help him out, remember? Oh, yes. Oh, well, the mail train doesn't need to leave yet. I can rest here for a while. We need to move out the way first, argued his driver. There's no need. No one will pass through here and it'll just waste time. The driver gave in and went to get a drink as Oliver drifted to sleep. But Oliver was wrong. Henry was collecting a long train of scrap. He had had to go to several stations to collect them all. Why should I have to collect all of them myself? Henry complained. The other engines could have at least brought them to me. I'm a busy engine. His driver laughed. It won't take long, Henry. And besides, it's next to loads the last one. We'll be off to the scrapyard in no time. But Henry wasn't listening. He continued to grumble to himself as he went into the siding. Oliver awoke with a jolt as Henry's vans hit into him. Ow! called Oliver. Watch out, you just hit me! But there was no reply. Then Oliver noticed that the ground beneath him was moving. Stop! Where are you taking me? He called out, but between Henry's grumbling and the long train, no one could hear him. Oliver tried to whistle to the train, but he couldn't. His crew were nowhere to be seen. Oliver was stuck in the middle of a scrap train and was unable to do anything about it. By the time Oliver's crew came back to the yard, it was empty. Where on earth has Oliver gone? His driver wailed. And that train's gone too. We better ask the signalman, replied the fireman. Oliver desperately tried to think of something to do. He called out as loud as he could, but between the high winds, fog and noise of the train, there was no way that Henry would be able to notice the little green engine. Finally, the train came to a stop. For a moment, Oliver felt relieved. Until he noticed where he was. The scrapyard. A cutter's torch buzzed, chains rattled, and pistons screeched. You can't leave me here, called Oliver. I was on my scrap once before, and I shan't be again. But it was no good. Henry, with a relieved whistle, left the train behind. Oliver looked around. Everywhere reminded him of the mainland. Help! Oliver screamed when two diesels slinked up beside him. Oh, I'm afraid no one's going to help you this time, Oliver. And this time you'll really be scrapped. Harry took some vans away whilst Bert sat next to Oliver with a wide grin. You don't understand, I'm not meant for scrapping. Ask the fat controller, he'll tell you, pleaded Oliver. But Bert just laughed. <laughs> now why would I want to do that? Your arrival has given us the chance of a lifetime. What do you mean? The chance to what? Harry, can you believe it? He still doesn't know why we're here. I told you they one would suspect a thing. Suspect what? Oliver questioned as the twins smirked at each other. All the same, I'm very surprised that you don't recognise us. Of course, you looked different then, but we've never changed. Personally, I preferred his rusted look. But the only engine who saw me rusted up from soda was Douglas. Just, who are you two? We've been on your tail ever since you tried to escape. Lost you along the way, of course, but, well, here you are. <laughs> and why have you been waiting? You could have grabbed me at any time. Do you seriously think the fat would let us scrap one of his engines? He's had a watchful eye on us since we got here. That's why I thought you'd know. Know what? 
that we have some strict instructions. Instructions to scrap you or be scrapped ourselves. You see, you made some people very angry when you escaped. But it'll be alright now. Bert explained as Oliver was pulled away. Please! Oliver pleaded, if a fat controller won't let engines be scrapped, then why don't we all just stay here? Then the people on the mainland won't be able to scrap either of us. You think we like living here, where steam engines are seen as better than diesels? We are revolutionary, and we will not be kept within your shadow. Instead, we'll be considered heroes when we bring you back in pieces on a flatbed. But, but the fat controller would find out what you did. That doesn't matter. He'll never find out that we did it on purpose. We'll say it was an accident and only realised when it was too late. Then he'll be on to the next engine who arrives here. You engines all think you're so safe here. But as you can see, it does you no know, good. Oliver was left by himself. His only company was the whale of steam engines long since passed. But Oliver wouldn't give up. <laughs> he cried. He screamed as loud as he could. He could hear machines beginning to start up again. The fumes were intoxicating. The noises were getting louder and louder. Let me out! Please! <laughs> Just then he felt a bump behind him. Shush Oliver, it's only me, smiled Henry, and he pulled Oliver out of the building where waiting outside was the fat controller. Oliver explained everything that had happened, including the twins' plan. I see. Now you two, listen to me, he boomed. Oliver is never to be scrapped. And if I find out that he has been, you two will be next, accident or not. Now, Oliver, you are to go back home. I doubt you're in the right state of mind to take the post tonight. I shall sort something else out, but be assured that you are always safe here. Oliver now feels a little safer on the railway. He hopes the fat controller is right, but he never goes back to the scrapyard just in case. Oh, I am deaf and none can tell if